Karina and this is Karina's Bookshelf. I'm glad you guys made it back again. I'm sorry I didn't put up a video last week. I was at a wedding. It was a beautiful wedding. Uh, my friend was beautiful in it. She was amazing and it was just a lovely wedding. It was up in Lake Tahoe and uh, we got to see the water. They got married by the water. It was just beautiful. It was beautiful. Anyways, today's gonna be a book haul. Yay! And I bought maybe 10 plus books, um, not quite a lot, but well, that is a lot, but still um, not as much as I'm used to doing. <laughs> but um, some of these are new releases, some of these are not. Um, and I guess let's get started. Okay, the first book I got was Play Along, which I believe is the fourth book in the Wendy series. Um, series and by this is play along by Liz Tom Ford and she also did um, Mile High um, gosh I just read the other, I can't remember the other ones but um, I have them in here somewhere but she, yeah this and I just love this book I love this color it is beautiful um, the other one I, I tried looking up on Amazon that said special edition on it and it had a picture of a guy on it and I was like oh, I don't know if I like that so I just went with the plain one instead but um, it's shorter than the other ones but um, I can't wait to jump into this one I, I really really like the Wendy series and so um, I hope this is just as good as the other books and I believe this is um, Kennedy's and Isaiah's story so they were introduced in the last book so yeah here's that next one is I'm not sure if I showed you guys this book yet or not I can't remember I just remember that it's I remember I saw it it was new and I haven't got a chance to read it yet but this one is called Filthy Rich Faye by Genevieve Lee Genevieve Lee or Geneva Lee and it's Kind of nice i like the foiling on it is really pretty and i guess there's another one that's a vampire one but i don't know if it's filthy rich empire or something else um i gotta see i have it saved in my cart in amazon but yeah this one's pretty i haven't got into it um it's you made a bargain your soul for his and now you are mine um cake halloway knows the unspoken rule of new orleans avoid the powerful gauge crime family at all costs of course that was before her brother got caught in the in their chaos now kate has no choice but to confront the dark and forbidding prince of new orleans himself and beg for her brother's life but lachlan lachlan gage is as lethal as he is beautiful and only currency is interested is in her soul because Lachlan isn't just some ruthless criminal, he's Faye, and he has his own secret reasons for binding her to him. Tricked and desperate, Kate is torn between humanity and breathtaking on the other world, a place filled with shadows and secrets with members of each Faye court plotting against her just as her captor's mo motives for trapping her become more mysterious. And if she can break the sinister bargain in its next 30 days, she'll be bound to the inscrutable yet infuriating <laughs> Tempting Fade, Prince and His Deadly World Forever. So yeah, that's what that one's about. Sounds interesting. I'm up to read for I'm up for reading it, so maybe I'll buy the other one too. I still have it in my card though. I've heard good things about this book that I'm gonna show you up next. Um I just heard it was just a great story. Um and I've seen it and I didn't hear all too much about it but I wanted to see what the hype was all about. So I went ahead and got a love letter to Whiskey. And I've heard that it was, it's an amazing love story. So I don't know, I wonder if it's sad. You know, I didn't, I picked this up blindly. I didn't, I don't know what it's about. I just seen it around, I think TikTok or something. And um, I ended up getting it because it sounded like it was a great story. So, and that's a love letter to Whiskey. Okay, next book. Um, is called is the sequel to City of Nightmares and this one is All Nightmares Begins as Dreams Cage of Dreams and this is the sequel it's in like a I'm trying to get that glare out of there but yeah and it's called it's called The Cage of Dreams and it's by Ziran J. Zhao I mean not Ziran J. Zhao Rebecca Schaefer that wrong sorry 
So there's that one. I also got Give Me More, The Salacious Players Club by Sarah Kate. So this one looks good. A little spicy, a little spicy, spicy. And then I got Not In Love by Allie Hazelwood. And I'm hoping this is, there was mixed reviews on this one, or I think it was a, oh, was it this one? I think it was this one. I heard mixed reviews about it, not in love and stuff. So again, it's Allie Hazelwood. I love her books. You know, some are hit or miss, but um, yeah, can't wait to read this one too. This one I was excited to get, so I'm glad I got it. it finally came in, it's called The Black Witch. And it's by Lori's Forest. And I hear this book has dragons, romance, spice. Um, yeah. So we're, um, it's a massive page turner. So I'm, re I'm ready to reach this. The Black Witch Chronicles. So we'll see. I absolutely love the Black Witch. A whole new thrilling approach to fantasy. So we'll see. And that's the Black Witch. I heard there was dragons, so I heard dragons and I said, yes, give it to me. Oh, this one was good too. This one, I love Julie Soto. She is just good. I'm, I just love it. This one's called Not Another Love Song and it's by Julie Soto. And she is the one that did, uh, where's my book at? What else did she do? It was the story before this one. Um, yeah, I don't remember. I'm sorry, I don't recall it. But it, this is the second one, and it's just about a violinist, and they're both violinists, but one is a celloist, and the other one's a, you know, personally just uses a violin. He changes cer certain um, instruments, and he's like a prodigy. He is very good at what he does and until she comes into the picture. And, of course, he is enamored by her and he starts to fall in love with her. So this is called Not Another Love Story by Julie Soto and I gave it a 4.75. I really liked it, so it was good. This is a new one. This is by their Christina and Becky Ritchie. They're the ones who did the Callaway Sister series. Well, now they came up with a new series and this one is called Dishonestly Yours. Um, and I really want to get started on this one now that it's beginning to come out with a new series that she has. I haven't read the Callaway series series yet. I do have it, but um, I don't know what I'm waiting for. I'm a little intimidated to start such a long series and such a one, you know, especially the the books that they are, the, the whole Callaway series sisters um, series is just wonderful. I've heard good things, nothing bad about that that one so yeah so I'm interested to get into this one and see what it's like see what her, her writing is like and then I'll jump into the Callaway sisters yeah but this one is I love the cover I love that strawberry it's so pretty it's honestly yours Rick. Krista and Becca Ritchie this is another one that I want to uh, get to read really quick that I was waiting for the audio to come out but that's not going to be out until um, next month or October I think so I'm kind of wait on it until the uh, until the audio comes out audiobook and then um, I'll read it but I heard good things about um, the veil kill no the veil King. I cannot talk today I don't know what's wrong it's this heat that's killing us okay the veil kingdom by Holly Renee and it's not a very thick book. It's got about, let me see, about 350, 345 pages. It's a good, seems like a good book. I love Holly Renee, so hopefully I'll like this one. It's got some pictures in it too, so, well not pictures, but some chapters are pretty nice. So yeah, and that's The Veil Kingdom. I bought the Collector's Edition, and it's got this spray pink edges hot pink on the side and it's hardcover and it should be in sometime soon too so yeah that's the veil kingdom and the last book that i'm going to start reading as of now as soon as i'm done <laughs> recording this video is uh george rr R. martin and fire and blood 
I'm watching the show. I love the show. I love dragons. I do. Ever since I read freaking, what was that? Iron Flame. No. Not Iron Flame. The first one before that one. But this one, oh my god. I can't wait. I, I know we watch the show. We're crazy about it. I, I am a true fan and I really can't wait to get into the story because I know some of the pieces are missing from the story they're not actually true from the show so um, you know they didn't go by the book so I just want to read the book but yeah I'm excited to read it and I can't wait so that but that's all that's everything you guys that's my small book haul that I had for this week and um, if you liked it hit the like button if you're here for the first time, hit that subscribe button. And it's, it was good to see you guys. I wish you today nothing but joy. So I hope your rest of the day is full of joy. Okay, I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye, everybody.